the whole world thinks production metal 3D printing is not possible. So we're going to attempt to 3D print over 100 parts on one build plate. Production metal 3D printing is real and it's here. While Barry and Jesse might have to babysit their machines, our parts are gonna print completely unattended. This is a brake lever for a high-end mountain bike and it was designed in SolidWorks. The nice thing about printing this part vertically is it gives us the ability to stack up a ton of these parts on one build plate. It's a much more efficient way of going about manufacturing these parts. Look at all those parts. Whoo, those look good. We were able to print 112 titanium brake levers for high-end mountain bikes. If you look at our build play here, each one of these is a part in and of itself. Now this is an extremely productive way to manufacture these brake levers. After this print's finished, all we have to do is unbolt this build plate, install a new build plate, and then we can start up another print. We don't have to add any additional powder because this print only took one fifth of the volume of our supply cylinder. Now if we were to print five of these, we would have 560 titanium brake levers and we barely had to lift a finger to do it. Now this just goes to show that although metal 3D printing is thought of as a slow process, if you have the right part and you can load up your entire build plate, production metal 3D printing becomes a very realistic possibility. We still need to take this over to the ONA AV35 wire EDM and cut all 112 of these brake levers off our build plate. So let's head over to the EDM department and get it done. Cutting our parts from our build plate can be very tricky because of the varying thickness throughout our burn. Our wire is going to start on this side, and we're only going to have a combined thickness of three brake levers, but in the middle, we're going to have 13 brake levers that we're cutting through. So, even though we're cutting in a straight line, we segmented that line up, and we're going to apply different power settings in the beginning, the middle, and the end of our burn to help account for the varying thickness. All right guys, there you have it. 112 titanium brake levers printed on our Trump True Print 2000. Really puts it into perspective when you lay them all out on the table individually, just how many parts we were able to print at once. And it just goes to show that if you have the right application and the right part, production metal 3D printing becomes very practical. When we combine the metal 3D printing and the wire cutting of our levers, we were able to achieve a time of 26 minutes, 48 seconds per lever. That's very efficient. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you guys wanna see more awesome additive content like this, check out our 3D printing additive tech playlist. We'll catch you guys next time. Actual footage of where Trevor works the best <laughs> on the couch. I actually got parts running right now. Could be programming the next part. Push hard now, baby. <laughs> See, you gotta have the stand, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, you gotta get that camera, buddy. That stance is really <laughs>